Okay, everybody, moms and dads, kids. Today in math six, we went over ratio tables, okay? Ratio tables is when you have ratios in a table. It's nice and easy, and I'm gonna give you a little video to click on right here, or maybe right here, or maybe it'll be up here, okay? But somewhere, there's gonna be a video to click on that'll tell you more about ratio tables if you need to know more about ratio tables, okay? And the homework, you need to uh, finish, your, sorry, finish your classwork if you didn't finish it. Math seven, and that's on my website. Math seven, we were doing conversions. We were converting customary units like feet, pounds, and inches, things like that, to other um, customary units. We were also converting metric units, okay? So right here, there are some metric conversions and some customary conversions that I'm gonna have little videos to right here. Some are right here, here. And you can just click on those if you need to know more. Now let's go see what Esposito's doing. Okay, here we are with Mr. Esposito. Um, I had to come track him down, but um, I'm going to get him to tell you a little bit about what's going on in science today. Here we go. Mr. Esposito? Oh, Mr. Esposito, moms and dads, what is Mr. Esposito doing in class today? I've got my hat on, I've got the lights off, I'm trying to go going green. I'm going green, I'm going global, right? Yeah. I'm trying to save the anim flammable animals, the flammables. I'm trying to save the planet. What are we doing for real? Mom and dads, we're going over... Animal adaptations. What type of animal adaptations? Adaptations that animals have for defense, for attack, for movement, for feeding, and for what else, Mr. Cook? Um, I don't know. Uh, all kinds of things. For protection? 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 Yeah, that's right, Mr. Moms and boys and girls. Not protection, but hiding. So today yeah. we went over adaptations for attack, adaptations for defense, and adaptations for hiding. In fact, what he's talking about with uh, adaptations for hiding is we've got camouflage. Some animals, they use camouflage to protect themselves, like uh, chameleons, uh, stick bugs. Some want to look like sticks. An organism comes along, doesn't even know it's an animal, doesn't attack it. Or a praying mantis, or a little leaf, little leaf bug bugs. They look like leaves. They don't attack them. And also what they do is they use not only camouflage, but they use a thing called mimicry. What's well, mimicry? Mimicry is you've got some butterflies, like a monarch butterfly, which produces like a poison, a very bad taste, a foul taste. An organism goes or an animal goes to eat a monarch butterfly. Oh, that tastes absolutely horrible. I can't stand it. What am I going to do? I'm not going to do it again, ever again. Along comes a visceroid butterfly. Well, what's that? It's a butterfly that looks almost exactly a little bit of difference but almost looks exactly like a monarch butterfly but it doesn't have that taste it doesn't have that bad taste but the animal comes along it looks at it for a second says i'm not gonna bite that butterfly because that's one of those monarch butterflies there i mean of course the animal doesn't know it's a monarch butterfly there's no that vocabulary word but he knows what that butterfly looks like and it tastes bad and he's not gonna do it again so the visceral butterfly takes off he gets away Scott free we call that mimicry when one organism mimics another another organism to avoid a predator nice. so we went over hiding we went over uh, camouflage mimicry and there's one more and this is a simple one when everybody does it in our everyday life says so somebody bothered us somebody somebody who does something we don't like and what do we do we avoid them so that's the last one there was three of them that we covered that last one was avoidance simply avoiding other organisms or predators, staying away from where they're going to be. Hey, there's alligators over there in that river. It'd be a good idea not to go swimming there. Avoid it, avoid it. By all means necessary, whatever you have to do, avoid the river. Hey, there's other places where you can go swimming. You don't have to go swimming with this alligators. Gabish, excellent. Now. Oh, 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 oh,